Don't you just hate it when you're in the other part of the house and the Wi-Fi signal goes low? All right, so I'm in my master bathroom, which is one floor above. You know, the opposite side of the house. Let's go ahead and run this speed test. As you can see, the Wi-Fi signals alternate between one to two bars. I'll be testing out in the same location. It doesn't look too bad, but it can be better. And here are the results before the Wi-Fi extender has been used. All right, so there we have it. 94.1 and 35.3 upload. With so many people working from home and homeschooling, it's important to have a strong Wi-Fi signal. They call me the Asian phenom because I'm the best at what I do and that is to test new products to see if they are worth your hard earned money. Unless you're rich like Elon Musk. Welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber with another exciting unboxing. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Rockspace dual band Wi-Fi extender. The AC2100 model. And it looks like it works for big house so this is my very first Wi-Fi extender I'm pretty excited on reviewing it to see how it will improve my Wi-Fi experience mine is a tri-level home about uh, 2,000 square feet total okay all right a box within a box okay let's see what rock space is doing Got to make sure protect it, right? Oh, this is a cool little model. Look at this. And I think that's it. All right. So once out of the box, you have a quick start guide. Don't worry. It's very simple on using this. And here is the Rockspace Dual Band Wi-Fi extender featuring... The Dual Band stands for 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. You have the range of options. Rockspace logo like that. I just realized it has a wave pattern to it. Very nice design. Here are the four antennas. Okay. So if you do have a big house and with thick walls, these antennas come in handy. On the top, all around, you have good ventilation. On the back, you have a tri-prong uh, charger. Okay, and some uh, information on the back specs. Very simple. And on the bottom, you have a LAN line connection. Okay. All right, so this dual band Wi-Fi extender has a range of 1,292 square feet. Data transfer is 2,100 megabits per second. The quad antennas eliminate Wi-Fi dead zones, especially for large houses. You are fortunate to have a mansion, I guess. <laughs> And it's reliable, wall penetration will give you um, for such a multi-story houses. So it provides you a uniform Wi-Fi signal and it even has a smart signal switch where it will automatically switch you to the, the best, fastest reliable Wi-Fi signal that it will offer. So the measurement is roughly three and a half inches in width by about four inches in height. It is quite a cute unit. And on the bottom right, you have three indicators, signal, WPS, and power. And this is the WPS button, meaning the Wi-Fi protected setup. There should be also one on your router too. All right, so it looks like there are two methods. One involves the web browser setup. That is a little bit more complicated. I think I'm gonna go with the easier method, which is method two, connecting to existing Wi-Fi network with a WPS. Basically what you're gonna do is uh, plug the extender in the same room where you have the router. Once it has it connected with the WPS button, then you relocate it. It's a lot more simpler. 
Okay, I have my Wi-Fi extender in the same room as my router and the light is already blue and this is the router I'm working with. Alright, so locate the WPS button on your router. Mine is on the front right here. I'm going to press this and then within two minutes See how that's blinking? Press it on the Wi-Fi extender, WPS button. And we're gonna wait until that turns solid blue. And if that doesn't turn solid blue, then we have to skip to method one. And within about less than 10 seconds, that turns solid blue. We good, we good. So happy. Once we confirm that's good, we're gonna unplug the Wi-Fi extender and locate it to a room that's halfway between the router and where you have a weak signal. All right, so let me walk you through where I'm going to put it. Show you guys how far that I'm taking it. Not in the living room, this is my first floor. Okay, I'm gonna go up the stairs, one floor above. I think I'm gonna put it in my master bedroom which is obviously close to the master bath okay i think i'm gonna put it right there right in the outlet and here is my master bath that's where the toilet was is okay so i'm gonna plug it in and make sure that lights full blue otherwise that means it's uh, not within range Uh, so I noticed it was lighting up some red and it turned blue. So we, we wait until it turns. So it's alternating between the two. See, we want the signal strength to remain blue. It might take about a minute or so, but it looks like we found it good, guys. I think we're good. To, oh, see that alternating? Okay, so after about a minute, it keeps on alternating. I think we're having a weak signal. I'm going to unplug this and uh, put it to a location that's uh, slightly closer. I think the hallway would do. Okay, let's go ahead and look for a place right here. I think um, perhaps right here would do. You have to use process of elimination. Okay, so after waiting for like uh, 10 seconds, I think we finally have a good location right here, right in the hallway. See, from the stairs. All right, let's go ahead and test out the new Wi-Fi signal speed. All right, oh my goodness, already I'm having three bars, I'm so happy. Let's go ahead and run the speed test again, so keep note of that, 94.1, 35.3 before. Hmm, maybe it's a time where a lot of my neighbors are using internet maybe it's a possibility but it looks like the upload speed is uh, significantly faster okay so now we have a uh, 60 megabits per second download and significantly fast uh, 53.2 upload especially as a youtuber i mainly upload my videos all right so there you have it uh, it improved the upload speed so I just read that uh, the purpose of a Wi-Fi extender is not to uh, speed up or slow down the internet speed. Perhaps my making my test uh, no. The whole purpose is to extend the Wi-Fi signal. So consider the speed test just uh, I don't know, just for uh, curiosity purpose. But I do know that my I have a one bar of increased. Wi-Fi signal to full strength. Now I can basically use my Wi-Fi anywhere uh, within a house and maybe even when I move to a bigger house and possibly even outside in my backyard now, I have a strong signal. If you're suffering from weak Wi-Fi signal and looking to improve upon that, definitely give the Rockspace AC2100 dual band Wi-Fi range extender a look.